Hi, I'm Sadie Newholm, and I'm a project manager for Velp Robotics. Behind me, you see an overview of some of the projects we've accomplished over the past few years. Alone, they're impressive, but together, they allow us to build this. This is robotic football, created to provide a hands-on engineering experience in a competitive environment. The Collegiate Robotic Football League gives engineers the taste of a sporting world. Our involvement in the league allows us to build this. In just three years, we've become the only undefeated team in the league. So how did we go from nothing to league champions? I could tell you about all the technical skills required to build these robots, but that's not the driving force behind what we've accomplished here. How we've built our team is why we're successful and why I'm talking to you today. We're not here to talk about scores and trophies. We're here to tell you what it takes to build a lasting organization. One of the keys to building a lasting organization is cultivating diverse minds to look at different perspectives to find the needs of the team. One of the core concepts we embrace is never say no brainstorming. The root of this method is that every idea, no matter how crazy, how expensive, or how impossible they seem, is a brilliant idea. Um, sorry about that. I got ahead of myself on the slides. <laughs> At the heart of design is the constant thought of how are we going to do this? And often in brainstorming, you start to apply boundaries to yourself before you let yourself think outside of them. A common phrase associated with, um, with leadership is take your management hat off. But we like to take the idea of putting your management hat on and viewing your leaders first and foremost as team members. Robotics itself is thought of being predominantly engineers, and to an extent it's true. However, we're much more than that. Many of uh, an increasing numbers, students who are not engineering majors are making their mark on the organization. Our members major in everything from sociology to biochemistry to all the disciplines of engineering. And as a result, we can approach challenges from a variety of perspectives. This allows us uh, to play football with robots, and a lot of other teams play, uh, play, build robots that play football. We, as a team, we like to cultivate diverse minds. Uh, some of our team members bring a technical advantage to the field. Uh, bringing technical advantages. Others uh, bring knowledge in football as a sport, which allows us for strategic thinking in the form of a playbook. Other robots or other teams build robots that, pos uh, that have individual robotic positions, but not necessarily a full team. We've been able to approach this challenge from a different viewpoint. We've broken the mold of looking at the competition as primarily a, fo uh, primor primarily a robotics competition, and instead have looked at it as a football competition. Another key to our success uh, is the ability, like I said, to never say no. That brainstorming that we have uh, gives us the ability to empower everyone, from our members to our presidents, to know that all of their ideas will be fully considered. At the suggestion of our members, um, we have included positions such as inventory manager and public relations chair. These positions have acted as supporting roles for our organization and stem from an environment where everyone's accepted, uh, everyone's viewpoints is accepted. Okay, so you've brainstormed some amazing ideas. You've implemented them and you've shipped your product or you've won your trophy. Uh, you're done, right? Not exactly. The third key to our success is that we never view anything as complete, ever. Whether we are down by 20 points or up by 50, we are constantly watching and analyzing the team, looking for areas of improvement in both the robots and the human team. It's not about winning, but about learning more, building better, and being proud of the team we have built. Success is not the end. In fact, success is just the beginning. You should view the achievement of a goal as a stepping stone for accomplishing even greater goals. Your product can always be better. Your process can always be more efficient, and your team can always be stronger. The idea here is for continuous improvement, 
but not just for the robots or your product, but for the team. Continuous improvement sounds great, but how do you make it happen? Planning for every possible outcome is difficult. We don't know how the rules are going to change or what challenges our team will face. The only thing we can do is learn to adapt quickly. Adaptability leads to a team structure where small changes to the environment will not affect the overall progression of the team. In our team, we've added leadership positions to adapt to the growing needs of the team. We've tripled the amount of positions available and developed the role of project manager as we discovered that communication with all members was vital to success. Project managers themselves give sub-teams a spokesperson to collaborate with the team as a whole. This inner team dialogue uh, creates an environment where the ideas that uh, form an organization can thrive and gives a common vision for our team that is rooted in the minds of individual members. Management itself is a crucial role for any organization. A common phrase associated with leadership is put your management hat on. However, we like to focus on the idea of taking your management hat off and viewing those managers first and foremost as team members. As a project manager, it's important to know when to be that team member and when to be a manager. In brainstorming, for instance, it's important to step back and allow your members voice their ideas. A manager's role here is to guide discussion and uphold the never say no mentality. Similarly, much of the logistical work is done behind the scenes in a sort of Wizard of Oz style. Pay no attention to the manager behind the curtain. This is especially important in areas where the managers are the most experienced members of your team. It's important for members to view their managers as leaders or mentors and not as bosses. We emphasize the concept of work with me, not for me. In working alongside team members, managers can view individual strengths as well as form personal connections in these teams. Personal connections lead to an environment where, the ideas, uh, where ideas can thrive and that, uh, that build the organization itself. All of these keys are designed to build a good team, not a single champion. It's easy for an organization to fall into the trap of having a single hero for that team. This person tends to be somebody who has all of the ideas driving the progress and all of the goals for the organization. It can be dangerous as it can lead to instability in the organization. If their champion were to leave or become less involved, the organization itself could crumble. This was the state of Velpo Robotics just four years ago. We had a single champion who had all of the ideas, but none of the structure necessary for a lasting organization. Just before the champion graduated, a small group of individuals realized the need for restructuring before it was too late. These individuals transformed an unorganized group into the championship team that is Velpo Robotics today. These members inspired others, and the organization has since grown in both size and success. Making a cohesive effort uh, ensures that knowledge can be passed down through future generations. It's important to make sure that the more experienced members of a team are always teaching the less experienced. As we mentioned before, much of the logistical work should be done behind the scenes. However, rising leaders should be shown the ropes so that the, con the, the organization can continue to run smoothly. As a team, it's important to focus on bringing together a group of diverse minds to empower past, present, and future leaders and learners. You can build a better team through promoting diverse perspectives by embracing that never say no mentality, by realizing success is not the end, and by taking your management hat off. All of this will build a team that's based around its ideas, not a single champion. With this in mind, we want to leave you with a taste of what kind of individual a strong team can build. Our members have dreams to bring about freedom from fossil fuels, to implement prosthetics in developing nations, and ultimately to make the world a better place. A robotics team won't be able to do this on its own, and that's not what we're here to do. Velpa Robotics has two goals, build the best robots we can and build the best teams we can. None of our members' dreams will be able to be accomplished alone. Each one of them will need a team with a common vision of the future, whatever that may be. 
Felpa Robotics is just a stepping stone for our members to know what it takes to both build and be part of a cohesive team. Now that you've seen what we have done as a team and what we will go do as individuals, we want you to use these keys and dare you to build the teams that will build the future. Thank you.